Welcome to this video playing Chapo 2 from Mexico. Yeah, I think Mexico. Yes. Okay, a French defense. And um, somehow he played e6 instantly and now d5 takes takes a bit of time. Normally I play knight d2 here. But let's play knight c3 for a change. But, um, I'm not uh, really an expert e4 player, so it's all a bit shaky, my knowledge. Yeah, I could take or let him take. I can I can set this Q trap. Knight takes, bishop takes, knight f6, knight b7. But <laughs> okay, he didn't fall for that. So let's just, just develop. Aha, uh -huh. now here could I could take with the queen. Is this um, an idea? It's getting the queen over to h4. Now uh, maybe very crude, but <laughs> quite often in, in blitz uh, those kind of attacks um, are effective. Yeah, in fact here I can take h7, winning a pawn. Yeah, okay, come on, let's Check. let's win this pawn. <laughs> E7 is uh, is unprotected. Okay, so I'm not sure what knight f6 is doing. I could um, play bishop g5, for example. I could also take c7. Yeah. Why not? Yet another pawn. Okay, how to play that now? His queen, yeah, he probably wants to play the bishop to c6. Yeah. Let's let's grab this tempo. He will probably go to h5. And then my idea was to play knight e5. Mm, but okay, I need to be cautious that I'm not uh, falling behind in development too much. Maybe I should just... Uh, okay. Okay, I don't mind to have this useful move in. And uh, now he's entering on c2. Hmm. So probably rook c8. Yeah? Coming. Okay. <clears throat> Let's protect c4. Rook c8, I'm going back to f4. Yeah, f4 probably. I could also go to g3. Uh, but then maybe knight e4, don't know. f4 seems like a good retreat square. Yeah, black has um, yeah, not really enough compensation, but uh, a bit of can at least um, be... Um, yeah, can, can attack... attack um, a bit here on the light squares, knight d5 or something, and at the, not at the moment the bishop is hanging, but um, in general, it's um, it's not sufficient though, and I'm not too far behind on the clock. And, um, I try to play queen d2, get this, get the queen out. <coughs> I don't want him to take him. Okay, so queen d2 or is this... It's not really helping much, this move. Yeah. Queen c3, I have queen d2. Okay, um, I, I take this under control e4 and um, now let's see, maybe just just move the bishop. Bishop d2. Hmm. Yeah, come on. I'd like to get rid of the queen. If he retreats somewhere to f5, oh no, he cannot even go to f5. f5, I play a g4 and, uh, the, and it's trapped. I mean, at least he, he needs to... Okay, so just 
it before or take it. Uh, taking is probably easier. to control d8 here but he cannot play rook d8 My idea is to play um, knight to b4. Mm, no, e6 is hanging, but I don't. I don't really want to take it. Looks like unnecessary tactics. Knight b4. It's not really helping. He's got the a pawn then. Maybe I should play knight f4. Can I get rid of this knight? Need to protect d4 to, to do that. <clears throat> nope. This helps. <laughs> He's saying oops. <laughs> Resigns. Yep, it's a big oops, but okay, it's it's two pawns, and I probably if he um, if he moves the rook, I probably win it in the long run. Let's say rook here, and uh, probably just drop the bishop here. Rook d two. Yeah, it, it it's probably a win. The the um the um, pawns restrict black too much here. I also can use the king side to to make this two two pawns like the f pawn to advance the f pawn and try to use then the d pawn it's uh, it's too much two pawns and it's um, it's also a big difference that rooks are on the board just with the uh, bishops there are always some drawing chances opposite colored bishops yeah in fact it, it, it all came down to <laughs> down, down to giving away those two pawns and uh, he didn't really got um, enough compensation. All right. Thanks for watching.